Hey guys, it's Wayne Santos, one of the editors over here at CGM, and Happy New Year! It's 2014, you know, it's like it's the next generation, which is the current generation. So, you know, it's like hopefully this year will actually be a lot better than the last year. Not that the last year was bad, but, you know, it's like now, you know, it's like things have really got to get moving. We're off to an interesting start with an interesting question, which is going to turn into a rant, and that question is, alien isolation, is this really a good idea? Uh, let's turn the way back machine to February 2013 when a little title just 11 months ago came out and that was called Aliens Colonial Marines by Gearbox. Uh, uh, this is a painful story. Um, if you are an Alien or Aliens fan the way I am, then when Aliens Colonial Marines was first announced by Gearbox, it seemed like a really good idea. You know, it's like, it's Gearbox, they've done Borderlands, Borderlands is good. It's a first person shooter with pulse rifles and aliens. So, you know, like that's, that's gonna be great, right? And then you had the stuff that was happening at E3 where they were showing off these demos and the demos looked amazing. And they were telling us that this was all going to be gameplay. So, you know, it's like, once again, the idea and the previews, you know, it's like all of that, you know, it's like this game had nothing but good going for it, right? And then February 2013 rolled along and the game came out and it was a bad idea that just should not have happened. So now, less than a year later, we've got Alien Isolation put out by the same publisher, Sega, but a different developer. And this developer is Creative Assembly, which in certain circles would be good news because Creative Assembly makes really great real-time strategy games. This is the first time that they're doing something in the first person shooter vein and even more worrying, it's a first person survival horror. And survival horror in first person is one of the trickier genres that you can imagine. So these guys are handling it for the first time with a franchise that is already leaving a bad taste in people's mouths thanks to what Gearbox did last year. So I am concerned. Um, I think that a lot of people are concerned and they, they should be because the Aliens franchise is one of those things which in theory sounds like it should be a winner in games, but like certain other franchises like Star Trek and you know Batman, uh, it, it hasn't really had a good run. Um, I mentioned Batman though because this is one of those things that leaves us cause for hope. You know, for the longest time people thought that a Batman game just was never going to be good because we didn't actually get any good Batman games. But then eventually Rocksteady came along and they put out a little thing called Batman Arkham Asylum. And that completely turned that rule upside down. And now all of a sudden when you talk about a Batman game, people get excited. So the question is, is Creative Assembly going to be able to do the same thing with the Alien franchise? It's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really concerned over the fact that they don't have a lot of experience in this genre. But you know, on the other hand, the idea itself seems really, really sound. I mean, one alien with you just not being able to do anything except just running away from it and hoping that you get, off alive, get out alive, that sounds like a good idea. Will these guys be able to do it when it's their first try to genre like this? I don't know. I hope and I pray, but I just can't get myself to unequivocally say, yes, this is a good idea and everybody should go out and pre-order it. So Creative Assembly, you've got a really tough job ahead of you. I hope that you don't screw this up, but on the other hand, I don't have a whole lot of confidence that that's actually going to be the case. Prove me wrong, that's all I can say. Please, please prove me wrong, because I'd really, really like to see a good Aliens game. See you guys later. It was a bad idea.